really good in the dolly hood you guys my name is gypsy if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe you're not gonna regret it thank and you for joining me today on this installment of doll events and i'm going to talk about some of these dolls that have really been piquing my interest lately which hasn't happened in a long while uh with dolls lately anyways so these are the bmr 1959 dolls wave one and two that i'm going to be discussing they're designed by my favorite barbie doll designer carla nuera and i am so excited uh by these dolls <laughs> oh gosh it brings out the kid in me okay so i do want to show you guys that i have some of them i don't have all of them but these are the ones that i have um this one was sent to me by my dolly friend tevin who i don't know why or how but he's like reads my mind he always knows like which doll i'm thinking about and then he'll like just send it to me out of the blue um so this is not the first doll he sent me but it's definitely the latest he's cute i haven't done any customizing to him but i do plan to but i just haven't done that yet because i don't have time or space for that here in this tiny little apartment that i'm in in washington state if you guys missed uh my instagrams my instagram posts i should say um yeah, Donis and I and the kids moved from North Carolina to Washington State where a lot of my Korean family members live so we can be closer to them. And so that's where we are right now. And look at his cool graphic on this shirt. So this is originally a Barbie doll shirt like a Ken came with. But my son Jinu, who is an artist, designed some really cool graphics for me. And then he um, made the shirt. Um... He didn't make the shirt what i'm saying is he put the design onto the shirt <laughs> so he could rock it yeah and i got a bunch of these that he's done for me and is still working on some custom designs for me so definitely go check out my boy Jinu on instagram go follow him on instagram so you can see what he's been up to with his artwork lately he also made this mask here in the back which is supposed to look like um have you i don't know if you're korean you probably know kumiho Kumiho is like a Asian, I don't know, like a spirit monster kind of a thing. And Jinu made his own little take on that and created a mask that he likes to wear a lot um, to match his outfits. So yeah, he's really creative and he's been finding different ways to make his artwork wearable, including for my dollies. So yeah, definitely go and check him out and then I'll see if I can get you guys... Um, some some stuff for our dolls that have genius graphics on them that you guys can add to your collections as well we also have this one which is from the first wave all my dolls are from the first wave that we have here but this one's not mine it's actually adonis's doll that one of his um his youtube fans or his dolly friend or someone sent to him and the person who sent it is kelsey from instagram go ahead and follow her and we're gonna do a a review on this doll as well so we'll give you the details after we take her out but so far we haven't had a chance to do that mm. and then the other one that i have is this one yeah i don't know what that spot is on my box but it's not a big deal and this is the one that adonis got for me and uh he's the guy with the man bun from the first collection as well the first wave it's fun he's really pale so i'm happy to have these dolls in my collection right now so let's get into this whole thing this is just my take my commentary on uh carlisle's designs for these dolls spoiler alert did i say that carlisle is my favorite barbie doll designer yet okay <laughs> yeah but anyway so here's the deal so the first wave consisted of i think five dolls and those dolls included the two boys that i showed you guys the girl with the long uh braids and two other girls one is the really dark skin tone the real real super deep like dark chocolate skin tone with the high black ponytail and then we have another one with the asian kind of a sculpt she's got the kira head sculpt so kira is the same sculpt that carlisle used for his mutia doll the filipina doll and it's a very pretty sculpt um those are the five from the first wave i think that my favorite ones of that are the ones that i actually have <laughs> and then the other two i was debating whether i want to add them or not i'm not going to end up getting 
the Kira head sculpt one because her outfit looks really like similar to some pieces I already have in my doll's wardrobes. Um, I do, I really like her hat, but that's not enough of a reason for me to get the entire doll unless it's at a really good price. So at full price, I would not buy the that particular one because I already have um, just a lot of the pieces that she comes with. Not, not the pieces she actually comes with. I have stuff that's similar to the stuff that she comes with and that sculpt I have in multiple dolls. So I don't really need another one of those sculpts in that skin tone. So that's why I wouldn't add it, but I like the style. Like I said, if it was less than $30, I would definitely scoop her up. Um, the best thing about these dolls is that all of them, including the boys, they all have made to move bodies. Yes, finally, thank you, Mattel. Thank you, Carlisle, for listening to your fans and the customers. We want MTM bodies for boys and girls in multiple skin tones so that we can articulate all of our dolls. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they've done that here, so I love that. And then... The other thing I like about this line is how individual each of the dolls styling looks even though they all kind of go with each other like they all match each other so they look really good together you can mix match all their clothes with each other and kind of put your own little spin on it but they still each look very unique and have their own personality so I really like that about these dolls I'm also going to be adding the the darker skin tone room the high ponytail mostly as a body donor but i'll probably end up getting more than one of her at some point because i think i do like the original head sculpt that is there so one doll i'll probably keep the way she came and then the rest of them i'll use for body donors unless something else drops soon that would be the equivalent of the skin tone um in a curvy made to move but i don't see that happening anytime soon and it's so rare to find curvy dolls with different skin tones already that having this particular skin tone on this curvy body i mean you can't really complain so i don't mind putting most of my darker skin tone dolls on that body type um they would all work well on that body type so i'm into that so we're not going to go over every little feature i just want to point out things that stood out to me about this collection and what i like about it and how it's adding diversity to my existing collection so the doll with the long braids the reason why i liked her was because I mean, what's not, what's not to like? She looks like a deliberate Blasian face. Like, she looks like, you know, I can't read his mind. I don't know that it was stated anywhere publicly, but it just feels like when I look at this doll, like, Carlisle envisioned the Blasian women that he knows and, or the Blasian women he's seen in the fashion industry and kind of just use that to channel his energy on how he decided to draw her face. And... It gives off that Blasian vibe so, so much. So that's why I really like that doll because she reminds me of myself and other girls like me. And um, I love the braids because like, <laughs> I feel like this is like my dream hairstyle. Like, yeah, so I just want some really, really long Philly girl braids, you know, but I can't get them because my hair texture is not really braidable. Like if I was to put little box braids in my hair, first of all, it would not take up as much space on my scalp as my hair when it's just curly takes up and then it would not stay for long like they would start to unravel because my hair texture is softer so it's slippery like braids come out of my hair easily so I cannot rock no braids like this with my actual hair and then I guess you could do it with a weave but I ain't got time for that <laughs> <laughs> but if I could I totally would um, but yeah I can't wear synthetic hair so that's why I don't really get long braids because it would make me itch but I can dream in my dreams I'd be having hair like this okay so that's why I really like her stilo and then her clothes are so simple and easy for you to switch around with other things and that's always a good thing um, I do like better having plainer colors for um, Barbie doll clothes when I say plain colors I mean it could be bright colors but not with writing and graphics all over it um like prints all over it that really like annoys me I don't mind the graphics so much I just the prints you know but for this line I, I get why some of these outfits have different prints and things on them it's like an homage to like back in the 90s kind of style that people rocked and I get that vibe when I look at it so that's what's up you know 
Carlisle, like me, is probably a 90s baby. We're, we're not born in the 90s, but like grew up in the 90s, I guess you could say. So that culture is definitely with us and I totally relate to that. For the first time, let's note, because this is significant, I feel like for the first time in Barbie doll history, um, the black version of this doll, the Ken, he is very openly styled like a gay guy and like that's not a bad thing we don't really have that i feel like there's like these subtle hints that ken is gay <laughs> because of his style and stuff that people joke around about over the years um i think i heard somewhere that uh barbie is like such a big feminist that she has a gay boyfriend or something like that i don't know it was like a joke but um whatever it was it was always subtle but with this guy i feel like it was just put out there like take it or leave it do what you will with it whatever it is what it is he's got nail polish on if you look closely my camera's not really trying to adjust for me right now as usual okay there we go yeah if you can see his face um he's got makeup on like eyeshadow lip gloss and then of course the lime green hair but these kinds of features this is a pretty bold move on the part of a universal company um, openly backing the LGBT community and representing them you know so uh, I feel like that's what this is so for a, for a historical standpoint it's very significant that they added this particular style to this collection and of course like I said it's like an homage to the 90s style but back in the 90s it wasn't cool for guys who were gay or that were um, maybe not gay but like feminine I guess you could say to show that side of their personalities openly it wasn't it was not back in the 90s people who had different tendencies than whatever the norm was they kind of had to keep that stuff to themselves and like really 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 that's where the term down low comes from like really keep it on the low low because if you were open about it you were a target for hate crimes for mistreatment discrimination all kinds of things that are not good for you and nobody wants to go through that so a guy like this would have had to really stay low key unless he was super confident and just didn't give two shizzles what anybody thought about him right so i like that he um created this very bold design for uh this type of character because to me it feels like he looks like what the guys in the 90s who were living you know kind of a double life i guess probably wished they could get away with looking like every single day not in this outfit of course because it changed them but the way that he came like he had like platform shoes and all of that so um that's what's up and i always am a fan of people diversifying um and going beyond their norm to represent reality in their doll collections because that's just it's life i mean you're in denial if you're pretending that there aren't people in the world that do things differently than you do and it's not necessarily a bad thing i really like that they did that um so those were the three that i really liked the barbie version the plain barbie version i see things about her that i like like her hair texture um the big hair like uh my twins reagan and, and sierra that we have on our channel and I like that but other than that I don't see anything else that really stands out about her that I feel I need in my collection like her body type I already have a bunch of those um, the skin tone I don't really have that many dolls that I need that body's donor for and then the outfit mm, I don't know if I'm feeling it that much like I don't know I don't know it's just not jumping out at me but it's not whack so it's you know, when I say I wouldn't add certain ones, what I mean is I wouldn't add them at full price. <laughs> I want all of them, but not at full price. The full price ones are the ones that I really, really want. And then the ones that are like, mm, I don't know, I won't die if I don't get it. I'm not going to look for it unless it's on sale, you know? One. And then the going four? on to wave two. In wave two, I think there's only four dolls in this wave. And we only get one boy. And we've got the added plus of two different body types added to the mtm line so we've got this um dark doll with the the big purple buns on the <laughs> like donuts on her head to me i love her little jacket um she's really bold and like i totally from her i get that vibe of like you ever see those 90s music videos where like the girls are at the house party and the guy's trying to kick it to them and she's like i got it man like that whole scenario she looks like that to me um her big like earrings the chunky earrings those are so so true to like 
hood culture back in the day and even now people still rock those but you saw them everywhere back in the day like the puerto rican girls had them everybody had them in the hood um, and i could totally see the funky colors and all of that she could totally get away with being like a girl from the hood she really looks like one so i love that and then um her body is petite but she's made to move so that's another first and that's why i want to add that one to my collection as well and then we've got a tall body type in the asian looking one she these girls don't have any names they don't really have their own names i'm sure they have like a like an item number that is di different between each doll each design but i just have to use descriptive words to <laughs> to name them because we don't have names for these dolls from mattel okay so this one is a leah head sculpt it looks like um or actually you know what she looks like a leah sculpt but i don't think it is i think it's a completely different sculpt this is tango actually tango head sculpt which i do not think i have in my collection so that's one of the reasons why i wanted this one also because of her cute little barrettes in her hair assuming that they're reusable and her outfit is pretty like different she's got her jacket almost looks like a raincoat and her boots look like see-through rain boots but they're like high heels and that look is totally different I do also like that she has a tall body type and it's like a different skin tone than what we have available right now which I think is just that basketball um, doll. I don't know. I could be wrong but I haven't seen any tall bodies with articulation other than that one. So she's a different skin tone from that so that's always a plus. The girl with the hat, I was like contemplating like should I add her? I don't know because her outfit to me just doesn't like scream get me like i don't really see her outfit as individual pieces that i really need in my collection that's part of what i will use to determine whether i want to add a doll or not but i saw pictures of her with her hair down and with the hat off and at first i was like girl forehead like <laughs> what's up you know <laughs> but the more i looked at the pictures i was like no she's actually really cute even with her giant forehead like something about the big forehead gives her her own little mystique like tyra banks you know what i'm saying she used to be like self-conscious about her huge forehead but <laughs> and now she's just like yeah whatever <laughs> more space for my for my lace front wigs to to, to glue on <laughs> you know but anyway i digress um so yeah i do like the way she looks without the hat on and her hair down and i feel like i would probably have a lot of fun redressing and restyling this doll so i think i do want to add her to my collection the boy in this uh collection i like as well but i don't know that i like the skin tone that much because i feel like we already got the skin tone with the first wave i could be wrong i don't have these dolls in person i'm just going based on pictures i've seen those of you who have them tell me is he a different skin tone but if not then i don't really have a use for him i don't have a use for any of the clothing that he seems to be coming with his head on the other hand despite his paleness um from the pictures that i've seen i love his freckles i love that he's a redhead that's so different and his sculpt itself looks very handsome so i, I don't know i like the sculpt but i would definitely restyle him if i got him so that's my take on those four. Moving forward with the future BMR 1959 line, wave three, wave four, wave five, what I would really love to see is another set of boys. I would like for, I feel like, I feel like, man, you can't go backwards. You gotta go forwards, you know what I'm saying? The first wave gave us two boys. So I wanna see two boys at a time coming out um, with skin tone different from each other and maybe body types different too but if we don't have different body types for the articulated kens i'm not going to complain about that because i've never felt that it was really a huge deal whether or not they had separate different kinds of body types as long as they could move you know so and of course finding clothing to fit different body types like the broad ones um like like the superman and the batman dolls that we had it's a challenge to dress redress those dolls so I don't know unless they're gonna do something more stretchy and universal sized for the boys as well i don't see how that's gonna work uh smoothly it's gonna be a hot mess trying to regulate that but i can dream can i all right so anyway so that's why i'm saying for the next few installments of these dolls i really would like to see more boys in different uh skin tones and i love the real hair that's another thing i love about these dolls is that the boys have hair that you can style brush you can do stuff with it it's 
rooted into their heads it's not just stiff plastic like what we normally get with the fashionistas so that's a huge plus and totally worth it to me that their prices are at about $30 when they drop I mean it can't be harder to root the boys with hair than the girls because the girls have more intricate hairstyles and textures and lengths and the boys you can keep the hair short and it's still gonna work you know what I'm saying so it's not like they're expending more energy to do hair for the boys but we like that we like that thank you carlisle so we're gonna i'm gonna say i would love to see more of that and then also moving forward i want to see more uh usage of the different body types the curvy the tall and the petite especially petite because i feel like we have so many dolls that we want to put on the shorter bodies but not enough skin tones to really get any range at this point we only got one so <laughs> it's a good start but I wouldn't complain if there was a line of all petite dolls for one wave of them. I really wouldn't if they had all different skin tones. Uh, and again, I'm not going to cry if we don't have any, any made to move regular body types over the different skin tones of the curvy, tall and petite dolls. Um, but that's just my take, of course, because I really love to have diversity in my doll collection. I love for all of my dolls to look different from each other and to give off a different vibe and a different personality. That's why that appeals to me. But of course, I don't know that the majority of collectors feel that way, but it would be nice to see that, you know. Um, but you just, you can't go wrong. Carlisle, I'm pitching this to you, okay? What about... I don't know how much choice they give you on what you can design or how you can design it but if you had the choice I would love to see an entire range of like a whole line of dolls that's just boys and the theme for those dolls would be whatever the theme is but it's just all guys like I would love to see that and you know it's not just Barbie no more I mean it's everybody you know what I'm saying there's the Chelsea line there's the Skipper line there's Barbie and there's Ken Ken, why can't Ken just have his own line too? Let's 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 think about that. Let's figure out how we can pitch that to your bosses and see if you can get clearance for a project like that. And then um and kind of go with the same thing that you've been doing with the BMR 1959, where it's basically a line of dolls with whatever the themes are for each wave, and then they each have their own skin tone, but they're made to move bodies like that would be awesome and you could get so creative with different hairstyles that could get rooted into those dolls i feel like those would be popping off like really really popping off um and heavily promoted so i don't know just throwing that out there mm -hmm. i mean carlo seems like he's very in tune with the streets of dollyverse so i'm just throwing it out there somebody tag him in this video so he can uh get my message <laughs> <laughs> we're friends on instagram but i'm so bad about keeping in touch with people you guys anyway yeah so that's just my take on it bmr 1959 definitely a hit i cannot wait to see what else comes out from this line i trust carlisle nuera as a very well versed and well in tuned uh, uh, artist i feel like he doesn't just create products that he thinks is cool he's also factoring in how it's relatable to his fan base you know what i'm saying i feel like some of us we really just buy these dolls because we're his fans specifically i need more carlisle stuff in my collection yeah so which ones do you guys have do these guys have nicknames are we gonna make nicknames for these guys so we can figure out who the hell we're talking about um uh, put them in the comments if you have a list of nicknames for these dolls that we can use to refer to them by and i'm just so excited to take these other two out of the box already because i've had them for a while now and Ugh, I get just anxious when I see them inside the boxes all tied up. So, I don't know. Check out my review on my green haired dude that I did uh, recently. And I have the review up on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. And I'll be doing some more when I open these other guys up too. And I do appreciate all of you guys who have been on standby <laughs> during our hiatus and have been checking for us. Um, I know there's a lot of videos of like Jayu and Jinu doing games on here, which are probably, I'm probably going to take them down at some point. Um, some people like them, but I mean, they, they're just up there because my kids got bored and they were streaming and the streaming service is linked to my YouTube channel, which I didn't even realize until I saw all the videos up there and I was like, when did we post all these? 
<laughs> so so that's why they're um, there but y'all can but watch. yeah but if you leave comments on there i'm just saying be prepared for the videos to come down at some points because i they're taking up space on my channel and i need to save that space for my doll videos so yeah so that's what's going on with me and go ahead and follow me on instagram all right thanks for watching have a dolly day you know what i'm saying so you kind of you kind of have like you got our we've got you've got our support that's what i'm trying to say i can't speak english right now you guys anyway <laughs>